Hey everybody, Multicast Gamer here. Welcome back to more Metroid Prime Trilogy. In last episode, we uh, actually got the Seeker Missile here at the Xeno Research Area of uh, um, Skytown, but also we discovered uh, Phase on Metroids, which we'll be dealing with quite a bit for the rest of the game. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take this uh, elevator up here to uh, get a... Well, I think we have to in order to... Um, be able to get back, essentially. It's kind of hard to say, anyway, actually. Wait. Yeah, because these platforms are too high for us to reach with the screw attack, or at least this one in particular, and that's the one closest to us. So, okay, so that makes sense. So we need to take the elevator to get back up? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you just need to get to a higher point, essentially. Um, so, fun fact about this episode, um, right, I actually started recording before originally, and, uh, I thought I was in a different area than I was, like, I thought I was supposed to be in a different area, essentially, than I actually was. You're going to hyper mode? Or... Okay. Wait the way, I've already scanned you. By the way, where am, where am I at on pirates? Like, how many more different types of pirates do I have left to scan? I have to see. Shown this before, like how ridiculous this is. 22 out of 34, okay. I know there will be plenty more places where we'll see new types of pirates, but I always... Yeah, you get the idea. I've already made clear before, so I'm not moving on. Any, uh, lore drones in here? Nope, I guess not. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna call them. I know that's not what they're actually called, but I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call them lore drones, because why not? Nope, nope, no. Nope. We ain't let you on me today. Just ain't happening. Alright, more zip lining. Love this. I just love the, uh, the faith, the, the love, the faithful, uh, what am I even saying? The Metroid zip line games, okay? How about that? I'm an avid, uh, participator in them. Something along those lines. Hey, just, I was just talking about you. Alright, what do you got for me today? What's on, what's on the current events for Alicia? Lost. It's called Lost. Get with the times. It's a great show. It was approximately five months ago that our systems detected a meteor-like object collide with a planet in a nearby galaxy. The impact was followed by spreading corruption, identical to the one we saw devour our, creatures, our creator's planet. More so than ever, we were determined to aid the Aurora and discover the source of these objects. Months passed before we could uncover its origin. It had come through a wormhole from an incredibly distant planet. We studied this link between the Terra and space and the location it was connected to. As we, del as we delved deeper, it became clear to us that this was the mysterious planet the Chozo Searcher had been seeking. The living planet was aggressively attacking other worlds, hurtling parts of space, parts of itself across the cosmos like missiles. We had finally discovered the source of these corrupted meteors. It was about one month ago that we made our revelation, but all attempts at transmitting the critical data to the Federation were unsuccessful. It appeared that the Aurora unit had become disabled. We tried desperately to restore the Aurora, but it had been corrupted by an unknown virus. Our only means of communication with the Federation were severed. So we're getting closer to finally discovering the origin of Phazon. I mean, well, we obviously know it's some sort of planet, like past a wormhole, so... That much is clear. And I already know what it is, but I ain't gonna tell you. Cause I like teasing like that. I'm just that sorta of, I'm just that sort of person into that sort of thing. Okay. So now using our newly discovered secret missile, we can now uh, uh, approach uh, this part of the uh, this room from a different area essentially. Oh, well yeah, we opened up an elevator also. But uh, more importantly, uh, so this is the uh, that first uh, uh, Theronium bomb part that we that we saw. When we first came through East uh, Skytown East, and now we can finally uh, get it. But first, we have to dislodge it, or not dislodge it, but like uh, disconnect it from uh, its post, essentially. So, in order to do so, you gotta take down these uh, points that it's attached. There we go. It has to be all of them at once, of course. I don't know if you get attacked by pirates from doing this. Uh, I'm kind of kind of surprised we haven't seen it yet, but uh, 
I'm sure they'll show up at some point. Okay, so now we need to... We're going to need a different point of... Yeah, a different... We're going to have to get that one for different viewpoints. Probably getting higher or something. How do we get up there? Let's take a look, shall we? So, uh, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Because, uh, I just came home... I just... Uh, last night work was better than the previous night. You know, it was better than... Well, not previous night, because I called it the previous night, but the night before that, uh, Wednesday night, I... But, I don't know, I was still feeling pretty, uh, bleh, so I decided to... I ended up buying a tub of ice cream on the way out from work, so, uh... Definitely let me know what your favorite, favorite flavor is, because... Most of the time I get cookies and cream, but uh, this time I got chocolate chip and... Or... Chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh! Well, I could believe, I, I missed this, uh, event. That's the issue. Yeah, there it is. This is where we can, yeah, dislodge the rest of the, uh, throwing bomb, and also... Get another missile expansion that we don't, uh, really need, but we're getting anyways, because, you know, completion shit, yeah. I don't know why I keep on using the word dislodge, it's just, uh... Oh! I think we're too close to it. Just, uh... Disconnect from whatever the pirate's are using it for, I don't know. Of course, we also still have to open up the, uh, the latch above in order to access it, but that won't be a problem because it just opens up right for us. The program, the pirates were nice enough to program it to, you know, open up right there for us, you know, because they're just nice like that. Now, it should go without saying, but uh, as long as your ship is holding these uh, bomb parts, um, you're not going to be able to land it and save or travel to other planets or anything like that, so just be aware of that. But uh, yeah, using that first component we got, this, that's, this, you know, it's specifically just to hold the pieces of the bomb, essentially. And that's the first, uh, actual part of the bomb itself. But there's still another one left, and that happens to be all the way in Skytown West. We actually passed it when we first entered Skytown, like, early on, but, uh... Yeah, we couldn't actually do anything with that at the time. I, I don't think I can point it out to you yet, but, uh... So, in order to... So, when you go to the door... This door right here. <laughs> I have no idea what I was just doing there. Just trying to be weird, I guess. Trying to be all funny and shit. Uh, yeah, now we... Uh, but yeah, I got the tub of ice cream. I always worry about doing that, though, because I know that, you know, so it should go without saying, but ice cream is not good for your health. But still, I just, I just can't help it. It's, it just, it just helps me feel better. You know, it's comfort food. You know how I am with my comfort food. I get, I just can't help but eat it, you know? Honestly, you know, I know some people would say that it's like I should be thankful that I'm, like, so underweight, or not so underweight, but, like, I'm just slightly below the... Uh, the healthy BMI than it should be, essentially. You know, for my height, I'm slightly below the healthy weight, essentially. And some people would say that that's, you know, I should be thankful that I am, but honestly, I'm kind of nervous, because, like, I'm supposed to be... My metabolism is supposed to be slowing down at this at this very stage of my life. You know, my mid-20s, it's, it's supposed to start slowing down from here on out. And I've seen no sign of that yet. And, uh, you know, if it's not, if my metabolism isn't slowing down, then, or possibly it is, maybe there's something else that's preventing me from gaining weight, you know, there's just, not gaining weight could be a sign of something serious, what I'm trying to say here. It could be a sign of very serious, uh, you know, health issue that I'm not aware of, and if I don't become aware of it, it could be too late by the time I do, so it's just, that's what scares me about it. By the way, this uh, Spire Dock right here is going to be important for, like, story-related purals soon. Hopefully not being too obvious with that, and more so ominous than anything, but, uh, yeah. I think I'll check in 217 and talk, you know, just have a like, nice little chat. By the way, the first, uh, where we're headed next is this way right here. The, uh, third, uh, bomb point is actually in this, uh, general area right here. So that's where we're headed next. Um, I don't know if it's faster to go through here or through here. I'm just going to go through the Aurora Chamber 
maybe that'll be faster. I hope that there's like some sort of cannon along the way that'll, you know, like this, that'll help us bypass some of that uh, ridiculous uh, um, zip lining that I'm not a big fan of. So, uh, yeah. Um, but so yeah, I've been eating. I've been. I have been. It's like it's not like I've even been trying to eat healthy necessarily for the past like a uh, decade or so. You know, ever since like a uh, college essentially, or even just after high school, I haven't really been doing a lot to take care. Of Wait. Oh my god, I haven't gotten two one seven yet for my lore for my research entry. There we go. We're unit two one seven organic supercomputer in charge of maintaining Skytown. Nothing more to him than or nothing more to him than that. I said M, not him. I said M. Yeah, it's not like I've been trying to monitor my, my health that much either. Like, I've just been kind of eating whatever, mostly, and more, more times than not, it's comfort food, so... I just don't know. Like, sometimes I eat healthy food. I'm not saying I, I only eat specifically junk food. Like, sometimes I, I actually get eat frozen vegetables and shit. The kind that you just buy in a bag and you can steam it while it's still in the bag. Yeah, something like that. Uh, perfect. So we can actually activate this, uh cannon with the seeker missile. There we go. That'll probably take us directly to where that uh, bomb component is, I'm hoping. Got a nice quick look at the uh, Leviathan seed down there, too. Way the hell down there. Yep, it's right here. This is our bomb component right here. And uh, we are going to get it right now. And also, we might have a chance to get something else right now, but let's see. Oh, seriously? Never mind, never mind. I take back all the positive things about the thing about it. All the positive things I said about the Seeker Missile being better in this game than Prime 2. It really isn't much better. Because I was clearly, like, even here, I was a distance away from the target. So there's no excuse for why I didn't, why it missed that first, that last time. I don't know. Okay. First of all, we'll have our ship grab this real quick. You're good. 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 Don't. You're good. You're good. You're good. Don't worry, Captain. We'll buff out those scratches. Yeah, I know. SpongeBob is about as unrelated as possible when it comes to Metroid, but still. Excellent work, Samus. The Therodian bomb is complete. We are now ready to execute the final stage of our plan. Place the bomb in the cargo hold of the Spire Pod. We will mark the Spire location on your map. Please hurry. There is no time to lose. There's no need. I'm looking right at it. Right there. That's the Spire Dock. Right over there. That's where we're heading next. But first things first, uh, isn't there something I can look at over here or something? Or might I think of a different area. Here, let's, uh... Wait, where does this take me? This, uh, this cam right here. Uh... No, that's not where I want to go. That's, that's back. Uh, not good, not good. I don't want to go that way. I just could have swore that there was, uh... Something else over here. Okay, I'm thinking of a different... I'm obviously thinking of a different area, so let's move on. Let's go back to where we were, okay? Eesh. Also, just because OCD, you know. I just had to do that for my, for the sake of, uh, I don't know. Honestly, if I do have it, it would be self-diagnosed, and that's not something I'm too worried about. It's just the other, other issues that I have. All right. Can I just? Nope, definitely can't. Well, maybe I could, uh... I was gonna say, I wonder if I could just, uh... Screw attack, like, my way across here, maybe? Or maybe it's because that area's not loaded, won't let me? Let's see. Oh, nope! <laughs> Game's like, nope, you can't do that. Where am I? Uh... Where the hell am I? Okay, so... Yeah, okay. Duh, obviously I'm right where I was. Sorry, I'm just so confused. 
So, uh, read any good books lately? Because I sure haven't. The only books I read are, are video game guide books. I'm just being honest. I'm not really, I don't really care for novels much. Just me. I was never really much of a reader. Except for in elementary school. I definitely read hardcore. And then, that's in, then it was in third grade when I started wearing glasses. And they told me, it's your, it's because you read too much. Like, really, apparently because I was reading too much, that's what caused my eyes to go, you know, all fuckery, you know. So... With that lesson learned, I never read again. I'm just playing around. I never stopped reading just because I couldn't, you know, just because it caused my eyes to go fuckery, but still. Just never my thing. Alright. Wait, no, don't drop it. No! Boom! And I'm dead. Wait a minute, I just dropped a bomb. Bombs explode! <laughs> okay. I get it, it's not the right word, but still. Samus, now that the bomb is in place, return to the AU chamber so that we may discuss the final stage of our plan. Why can't you just discuss it here? It would save me a little bit of time if you just discuss it here. You're able to communicate with, with me through my, my suit, so why don't you just discuss with me there, huh? Here's the tree, I'm going to cut to the AO chamber right now. The Therobian bomb is primed and ready. Excellent work, Samus. To drop the bomb onto the Leviathan shield, you must move the bomb pod directly over the Leviathan and shut down the pod's engine. This must be done manually. This is a dangerous mission. Will you accept it? I, I got no other choice, yes. Thank you. Initiating Skytown. So, uh, read any good books lately, 217? Oh, wait. You're practically a. You got books built into you, never mind. We will move the Skytown facility as close as possible to the Leviathan shield, and then deploy the bomb pod. Do you understand what you were supposed to do, Samus? After shutting off the engines, use the escape capsule to return here. Skytown migration complete. You must now proceed to the bomb pod. We will release the cables once you're in position. We regret this mission places you in mortal danger, but there are no other options. Good luck. Alright folks, our mission is clear. It is time for us to, uh... Deploy that bomb onto the Leviathan shield. And we'll do that next time. Yes, this is going to take a few minutes as well as the uh, following part where we actually go into Leviathan Seed. So that might as well be its own, its own episode. I can almost guarantee you though, this will go a lot better than the one in Brio, if you know what I mean. So uh, I can definitely promise that because I know what it's going to be like, but still. Uh... But yeah, folks, uh, see you next time. Here it comes.